Welcome to all of you to Porter College commencement. Our first student speaker is film and digital media major, Allison. Hi. <laughs> Greetings, esteemed faculty, staff, students, friends, family, and supporters. Today is a big day for me and my classmates, but we couldn't have made it here without you. Thank you for being present today and every day for supporting us and sacrificing for us. Our gratitude and affection never wavered for an instant. Not even that week, you didn't hear from us because we were cramming for finals. So we're all excited about graduation, but who else is stoked just to be on this beautiful campus right now? Yeah. The Porter class of 2011 has had plenty of adventures at UCSC from wandering the woods and climbing the trees, at least until they took the ladder off tree nine, <laughs> to navigating the Porter Caves and exploring the floors of literature in the library. It's definitely an amazing campus. But what about all the amazing people? We've all gathered so many friends and collaborators over the years. Porter students always welcome one another and kids from other colleges can be all right too, I guess. Not as cool as us, but they're okay. <laughs> and of course, the faculty has always been there for us, explaining Heidegger, teaching us calculus, writing us sparkling letters of recommendation. We leave here knowing that the UCSC community will always be here to support us as we strive for success and to comfort us should we temporarily fail. On that note, <laughs> everyone is gonna say congratulations to the graduates, but perhaps good luck is the more appropriate wish. It's a tough time to be coming into grown-up hood. Jobs are scarce, especially for recent graduates. But hold that thought for a moment while I digress. See, I transferred here from UCLA. Obviously one of the best decisions I've ever made, but anyway. At UCLA, the campus is divided into South and North. The joke among the students is that the science and math majors in South campus get to have a job upon graduation, but the humanities and arts majors in North campus get to have more fun. But those South campus science majors at UCLA, at least many of the ones I met, lack fundamental communication skills. <laughs> and their technical expertise might be outdated in a few years anyway. Porter students, in contrast, acquire valuable habits like expressing themselves, realizing their creative ideas, and working towards highly individual goals. <laughs> These skills are applicable to whatever careers and passions we ultimately pursue. There will always be a demand for leaders and innovators who are creative, unique, thoughtful, passionate, interesting, and imaginative. People like us, you know, makers and doers. That hunger to create, and I'm not talking about the munchies, is something we all share, and something that will take us beyond Santa Cruz to the farthest reaches of our dreams, goals, and aspirations. That's why at Santa Cruz, there are no stigmas attached to science students or art majors. On this campus, science students know how to have a good time, and art students, we know how to find jobs. <laughs> so before I wrap this up, I'd like to remind everyone of an often quoted phrase coined by Mr. Mahatma Gandhi. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Most Porterites are already doing exactly that. I know so many students who have already achieved incredible things, and I'm so excited to see what they do next. We just can't help that we rock so hard. So you got that class of 2011? Keep rocking and follow your ambition. 
Remember that we're leaving here with more than just our degrees. We're leaving here with valuable skills, creative passion, wonderful experiences, and most importantly, with the support of our friends and families. I call on each and every one of you, do the great things you are meant to do. That is what we can do with our degrees. And that is what we should do with our lives. Thank you, and good luck. Yeah.